All right, uh, Chief Minister KCR also holding a parallel event to mark the day. In fact, uh, the uh, KCR government has been rejecting this new form of celebrations that the BJP has brought in as well. Let's open this up on what the controversy is all about because these are unprecedented celebrations that are taken out, that have been taken up. Tushar Gupta, senior editor of uh, Swarajya, as well as Vachu Shrivas, spokesperson of the TRS, joining us on the broadcast. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Vachu Shrivas. I want to ask you what is the opposition to calling it a liberation day? Why is the TRS and the AIM MIM so opposed to it that you refuse to even be a part of these celebrations? No, first of all, very good evening. I didn't understand why the controversial is getting the BJP. It is a only liberation day. See, they, there are uh, so many princely states who are joined, have uh, become the part of India to make a uh, integrated India at that moment in uh, after independence around 45 among the 45 our Hyderabad is Hyderabad state is one among them so we call as the continuation of diamond jubilee celebrations of independence of India we would like to even Telangana government would like to do the celebrations of as a continuation of Azadika Amrut Mahotsav we are celebrating it as Telangana National Integration Day because it is the part of the integration of India, all the principally states, states have become you know, the part of India. Even among the Hyderabad is also one among that. That that is the cause we are calling a, a Hyderabad integration, Hyderabad uh, Telangana. Why didn't the TRS government take up these celebrations before this? This is for the first time it's being celebrated at such a scale. In fact, the chief minister that has is, also on record said that there's no need to celebrate September 17th because we already have a Telangana Formation Day. So was there yeah, any correct. hesitation from the TRS not no. to celebrate the day? No, no, you, you, you are absolutely right. You, uh, actually, we, we not conducted since the last years because Telangana is a separate state has become. It, it is now the Hyderabad state is not there. Where Hyderabad is, as uh, just now we heard, the uh, Hyderabad state is as an association of part of Maharashtra, and part of Karnataka this is all together called the Hyderabad state. Now there is no Hyderabad state. Absolute Telangana state has, the, has formed, which is a 60 years dream of Telangana people, which is separated in, in the leadership of Mr. KCR. So we are not celebrated. As, a, as, as I told very beginning, it is a continuation of a continuation of Diamond Jubilee celebrations of uh, Independence India, we are celebrating Hyderabad state celebrations also. Okay, but the accusation is that it is because of vote bank politics, because you don't want to upset a certain we community. Are, That's why the celebrations Telang were not taken up. I want Telangana to take this across to Tushar Gupta as Telang well. I, uh, Tushar, all this while the TRS has not celebrated the day and, uh, you know, the BJP has been saying that there's a reason why these celebrations were not taken up. But a similar charge also on the BJP now on whether it is trying to get a political mileage out of it, whether history yet again is being revoked because it wants to reap political benefits. Good evening, ma'am. See, it's not about history being revoked. It's about history being reminded in its truest form. The panelist here says it's National Integration Day that other princely states integrated with the rest of the country in 1947, and that is what we should celebrate. My simple question is, was Operation Polo by the Indian Army a lie? Did it never happen? Was it never required? You tell me it was never required that the Indian Army was not required to liberate the state of Hyderabad from the Nizam, I'll say it should be National Integration Day, not Liberation Day. You tell me the Nizam back then did not approach the external powers to ensure that Hyderabad remains a free state because he did not want to join either India or Pakistan. No, he actually went out and sought the support of external powers. So let's not confuse ourselves by saying that this is an integration day, that the integration happened like what happened with other princely states. It did not clearly. Number three, the Razakas committed atrocities against the population under the orders of the Nizam. That has been well documented. There's a lot of literature available about it. Are we today going to sit here and deny that and say, no, the integration happened with the will and the whims of the Nizam? It did not. The Operation Polo was required. If someone is willing to come up and say that Operation Polo never happened, the Indian Army's presence was never required, that Razakas committed no atrocities, I'll say it's National Integration Day. But we all know the truth. It's National Liberation Day. And to answer your question, ma'am, about the politics, 
Now, no one is going to vote in 2022, depending on what happened in 1948. Not in Hyderabad, not in any other part of the country. But it's important, after 75th year of our independence, we acknowledge this one simple fact, that one of the princely states had to be liberated mm -hmm. by the atrocities of a Nizam. And now the TRS or the AIMIM do not want to acknowledge that because, of course, they trace their roots somewhat politically to that Nizam. So they are trying to play very safe when it comes to their vote ban. But the BJP is sim just simply trying to correct the historical wrong. That is how we should see okay, it. But the AIMIM, uh, Tushar, has been saying that this is a form of villainizing the Muslims. In fact, uh, after the annexation as well, several lives were lost. The Sundarlal Committee also saying over 27,000 to 40,000 lives of Muslims were also lost in the communal violence that broke out after the annexation. So would it be right to call it, uh, you know, a liberation day, one? And secondly, if the BJP is saying that the TRS or the AIMIM is too hung up on this, on this nomenclature, why not the BJP also have a conversation with the stakeholders, with the AIMIM or with, you know, the TRS? Because the Nizam's grandson himself has also said that this is, this is politics being played out over it. Well, the Nizam's grandson has no stake today. I mean, in deciding it should be called the National Liberation Day or a National Integration Day. Hyderabad is not a monarchy. It's a thriving part of a democracy. And to answer a question about the villainization of Muslims, which OAC is claiming, okay. On the contrary, we have to acknowledge that even Muslims suffered under the Razakars. There was a journalist who was slaughtered because he was reporting the atrocities of Razakars and he was a Muslim. Yes. So today, are we going to sit here and say that, oh, the Muslims are being made villains of and not say that the Muslims also suffered during those okay. troubling times? It is about acknowledging the pain of everyone in that state, be it a Hindu, okay. be it a Muslim. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, we'll have to leave it at that. But of course, the debate over it continues. Liberation Day or the National Integration Day, if it is being celebrated on such a grand scale, why not take it up until now? Thanking our guests for joining us on the broadcast. The debate, of course, continues on that note. We're slipping into a short break here. Be right back. Do stay with us.